Hello there everybody, it is me Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to episode 25 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. Alright, quick disclaimer for any of you guys haven't seen any of my recent videos, I am sick. I've been sick for the past week, that's why I haven't recorded anything much for you guys, but I'm feeling a little bit better from my previous video, and I think you guys can tell from the sound of my voice, because in my previous recording of my base game Let's Play, which I did yesterday, I sounded like like the worst I've ever sounded like ever so that was hilarious anyway in this part we're gonna try to make our party club which I'm actually really excited previously we changed um uh Duncan's aspiration to party animal uh so um yeah we're gonna make him the club leader if we have that option let's go ahead and how do we make clubs let's go to the club tab and we are going to club details now uh join or create a club a uh, create a club i have no name for this club so for now we're gonna call it open invitation um let's see her let's make the club invite only how do we make this uh, okay we can choose what type of club it is i guess or like the logo of our club <laughs> this is my first time to do this so um i think the best thing that kind of represents the party thing that i want to do is either this headphone thing or this um kind of tequila margarita type of thing so um we're gonna make it we're gonna make it this one. I don't know why. It looks pretty legit. Okay, so so far the only thing that I can think of is party peeps. <laughs> party peeps. Okay, and I forgot the why. There we go. I cannot spell. And club hangout is going to be <laughs> our house. Okay, can we choose? Oh, yeah. It looks like we can choose. Um, our club hangout is gonna be you know what i'm gonna put that in later on general venues uh any club any bar that's yeah bar i think would be great and then specific location i don't have any yet so we're gonna work on that i i have a build that i want to use as our club hangout so we're gonna go and um plop that in town so um party peeps anyway if you guys have any better ideas as to what we're gonna call our party club please please comment it down below i'm desperate for a better name and at this point any name is better than party peeps let's be real it's a pretty crappy name but i'm sick i couldn't think of anything i just want to play this game with you guys so we're gonna go we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and get it over and done with uh okay so we're gonna add a sim uh jesse of course and callum and then we're gonna win, ma make our way and discover sims that will fill up the additional three slots that we have for the club requirements are uh, creating admission requirements oh my gosh club leaders can set admission requirements to dictate who may join the club these are useful for restricting the club membership to like-minded sims okay so um the age we want young adults and adults. Uh, okay, club member qualifications. I do not have time to read this. If you create any blah, blah, blah. Okay, they will display. Okay, so far all of our club members are eligible. And then uh, career, marital status, financial status, traits, skill level, traits. Uh, we want them. To, yeah, we don't want the any specific traits, so... We're just gonna leave it as it is. Um, yeah, adult and young adults. All right, cool beans. And uh, club activities, add activity. What is this? Creating club activity. Club leaders can define club activities for club, club gatherings. Perform club activities will earn you sim club points to spend on club point perks but performing band activities may get your sims scolded or even kicked out of the club okay i get it um club activities we need to choose one a food and drink mixed bar drinks for sure yeah drink bar drinks definitely what is this uh okay how can we art and music uh can we choose these at once uh how can we add this to 
Uh, okay, anyway, let's try other things. Fun and games, yes. Play cards. Do we have like a... Yes, we should. I love doing this with my friends, actually. So it doesn't look like we can choose two at once, so... Uh, okay, second one is play card games, for sure. A third one is... Let's see here. Play pub games. Play foosball actually could be quite fun. Uh, let's see here. Mm. Art and music, fun and games, social. Be funny, be mean, be romantic, tell jokes. Ooh, like, this is so funny. Like, we could have a club where everybody is, like, yeah. Anyway, let's be funny. You know what? Let's, you know, nah, let's be friendly. To everyone. Can we have mischief and mayhem? Hack, possess objects, sabotage objects. This is so in-depth. Amazing. Uh, okay. Okay, I get it. Let's be, um... Let's just tell jokes. I think it, it's okay. Cool beans. And then for the club activities that we don't want, we don't want anybody to be... mean. We don't anyone we don't want anyone who wants to fight everyone. And the last one is that we are going to hate uh Mischief and Mayhem uh Kid activities. Home activities, uh let's see here. I don't know. Fun and games. Yeah, I think so far that's all we should probably avoid. And yes. Okay, it looks like the party peeps are ready to conquer Windenburg. That was a really long kind of setup for our club. Uh, congratulations, Jesse was accepted to party peeps and Callum was accepted as well. Duncan has successfully created the party peeps club. Now it's time to recruit new members and hit the town. All right, before we do that though, we're gonna go ahead and manage roles. I'm gonna take you guys with me on this as we decide to plop in a venue for our... um our club and I'm a little bit sad that we might have to de demolish some of the existing venues the narwhal arms we're gonna replace it with uh, my personal build um, Windenburg Cathedral which I'm actually very proud of and um, I feel like it is a little bit better it is somewhat of an improvement from the narwhal arm so let's go ahead and actually change the lighting so we can see what we're doing let's say goodbye to the narwhal arms <laughs> and Whoever club um, chooses it as their, um, you know, as their like clubhouse is out of a clubhouse because we're gonna take over it uh, <laughs> in real life though. Oh, you guys can see some sneak peeks of my builds. Okay, fun, fun. Um, when did I do that? Uh, Windermere Cathedral. Okay, it's this one. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and plop it down. Furnished. All right. This is gonna be so weird, you know, if this is real life, like, just a random cathedral popping up in the middle of town. What is this thing set up? It's a nightclub, perfect. And you know what, we're gonna change the name of this into the Windenburg Cathedral, of course. Make sure that our spelling is correct. Okay, that's good enough. And we're gonna go ahead and back get, we're gonna go ahead and get back into live mode. Actually, I will see you guys there in just a second. All right, all right, all right. Welcome home. And from here, we can actually see our new venue. But first off, we have to set it as our club thing. So how do we edit the party peeps again? Party peeps. Uh, club details. Um, let's see here. Requirements. Club hangout. Actually, yeah, we should choose a specific location into um, Windenburg, and it's going to be the Windenburg Cathedral, of course. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool beans. That was a lot to set up, but so far so good. I want to check out the cathedral first and see how grand it looks and how majestic it looks over there. Um, we're going to spend some time there tomorrow probably, but for tonight we're just going to take care of our sims and uh, actually... I feel like they're feeling okay. Uh, Duncan is currently on vacation. He has work tomorrow at 10 a.m. What is this? What is this glitch? I don't, I don't get it. 
Um, okay. Mm. We work early. That was really weird. Uh, okay, that was a pretty bizarre glitch, but whatever. Um, and he also has work tomorrow. I'm not sure when we're gonna do the party thing, but definitely pretty soon. And Jesse doesn't have work, but yeah. You know what? We're not gonna do a party today, but we are gonna visit the Windermere Cathedral with Jesse at least. Uh, just by herself, you know, maybe we can meet some interesting sims. And maybe we can find some future members of our club. Okay, welcome, welcome to the Windermere Cathedral. And nobody is here. Perfect. Actually, no, because I wanted to meet people. Uh, okay, it looks like we have a be a couple of people here. Um, oh my gosh, Kara, yes. Um, call her over. Uh, don't we not have the option to? She's bored. Okay, okay, she's not bored anymore. Dance, my dear. Isn't this place awesome? I'm so proud of this place. This is the first thing that I built um, when Get Together was released, and I'm really, really proud of it, actually. Uh, the sinfulness of it, you know, the fact that it's a cathedral and a nightclub at the same time. Oh, and it looks like we have some club members here as well. Who is this guy? Paolo Roca. Hmm. We're gonna say hi to him. He's kind of cute. A friendly introduction. And, uh, who else have we not met yet? Uh, okay. We're just gonna flirt with him a little bit. Oh no, we have, um, we already have a boyfriend. We should call him here. Uh, joke about, do an impression, I guess. And you know what? We are going to get some drinks uh, over here. What is her favorite drink? Order drink. Um, we're gonna have some, we're gonna take it light and just grab some root beer float. Oh my gosh, Dr. Pepper float is just the best, you guys. It's the best. What are the boys doing here? What are they doing here? Okay, boys, go home. Like, what is wrong with the game? It's like glitching out or and stuff, whatever. Alright, so we're just gonna drink our root beer float with grandma here. Nothing wrong with that. She's not qualified to be in our club though. She is kind of cute though. I mean, her styling needs a little bit of work, but we'll, we're, we're gonna figure that out. Alright, oh, this- I'm guessing this place is like the, um, the venue for the party house. There's actually like a closet over here as well on top. So we should probably like explore this place a little bit more. All right, looks like she is enjoying her root beer flow. She's a little tired, but I want Paolo Roca to join our club. He's pretty hot, and I really want him in our club. And also Kara Saldana because I just love Kara. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and actually get to know her. I discuss interests and kind of build up our relationship you know make a good strong foundation so that you know when she joins us or if we can persuade to join us if we can persuade her to join us that's what i'm trying to say uh we would have a good relationship with her and why is she not accepting any of our interactions i cannot talk you guys like give me a please bear with me i'm still sick my mind is like 50 50 focused on the game and the other 50 percent is just me not coughing or sneezing because my my nose is clogged so okay boys um care for self and you also take care of yourself okay and we're gonna tell a couple of jokes with kara as well more choices funny a uh, joke about fashion more choice is funny, tell a funny story, funny, and uh, do blah blah blah, and knock knock joke. Also, we need to talk with uh, Paolo here a little bit more, talk about party house. Are we in the party house? I don't think we are. More choices, funny, uh, tell a funny story, and ooh, look at that! I love that flare thing that she did! Really cool! And we are going to discuss neighborhood changes, see how people are responding to um, our new venue here. 
Girl, you should join it. There's like a crazy party over here. Uh, so go ahead and dance. And I think it's pretty clear to see that Jessie is in her element. She is with her people. You know, she is in her environment. And she is shining, you know. She is really outshining everyone. Like, I should take a couple of pictures. How fun is this? I don't know, I'm just letting the Sims do what they want. And even Jesse and Paolo are talking with each other, which is quite great. Alright. And what is she building up? What is the skill that she's developing? Her dancing skill, which we already maximized anyway, so... Um... Yeah, there's the Griffin and Marcus looks almost identical. Probably because these three guys literally look like they can be siblings. All right, you know what? I think we have seen enough excitement for tonight. Uh, Jesse's gonna be the conservative one and goes out for a little bit of an easy exit. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and say goodbye to everyone and make her way home. So I'm going to go ahead and actually cut right here and I will see you guys when we are back home. All right, all right, all right, you guys, we are back home. And I'm actually very um, surprised that Jesse walked home to the house from the cathedral. But then once she gets to the house, we get through another like loading screen, which is like our 10th loading screen for this episode. Uh, you know, EA really needs to work on that, but whatever, she's gonna go to bed. Uh, the boys, how are they feeling? Uh, boys, y'all need to go to bed. Uh, okay, y'all have work tomorrow, so we don't have any time to spare. Um, <laughs> you know what, I just started recording once again, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut again, and I will see you guys when the Sims are awake. Alrighty guys, we are back, and it is a lovely morning here in Windenburg. Um, let's see here, Callum actually has work in a couple hours, so I think it's time for him to wake up and get ready for work. Let's see here, what do we have for breakfast? Okay, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. We're gonna go and um, open. No, actually, have a quick meal. I have some cereal. That, that's the best option we have. Hopefully, it gives him a little bit of energy. And then, what? Are, what are these plates doing here? Okay, let's get rid of the, let's get rid of these plates. Why can't I get rid of that? Whatever. And then, what is this? Oh, it's cereal. Why is it green though? That's weird. Is that right? Is that like Fruit Loops or whatever? Um, okay. And then let's just get rid of these. Give our Sims a little bit of a helping hand when it comes to the housework. That is literally Fruit Loops. Okay. I hate cereal when it's all soggy. So usually when I eat cereal, I make sure to eat it in like the first minute. Um, I think that's the best. How about you guys? How do you like your cereal? I want to know. Okay. He also has work in like four hours. I think four hours is a good amount of time actually to get ready for work. Um, I want him to go jogging if that's possible. I'm not sure. Yeah, not today. Not today. Uh, okay, go ahead to our fridge and have a quick meal of some cereal. And then you, why is he flirty for some reason? Like who is he flirty towards? It's really weird. Use this, take a shower. What mood does he need to be in? He needs to be energized, so he's gonna take an uh brush shower. There we go. Ooh, I love looking at this pee coming out of them. <laughs> Excuse the cough. Uh, but it's so unexpected. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I am so sick. <laughs> anyway, excuse the cough, you guys. Okay. Excuse me. Alright, this bell looks really weird. Like, why is it green? <laughs> looks like Madame here, our sleeping beauty, is having a good night's rest. So, good for her. And then what does Duncan need to do uh, to get ready for his work? Duncan, my boy, you're going to clean up the dishes here. Do a little bit of housework, and Callum is feeling great. 
he's gonna go and uh, watch the sports channel. Hopefully, he can maintain his energeticness. Uh, is it just me or does she look sick? I feel like her okay. nose oh. is a little bit red. Why is he not washing the dishes? All right, and he has work in two hours, so we're gonna go ahead and actually also make him use the toilet and take a shower. What mood does he need to be in? Okay, he wants him to be focused, so just take a normal shower so it doesn't mess up with your mood. All right, do we have, we have like dishes over here outside. That's so weird. Where these came from? All right, and you better not be missing your work. 34 minutes, okay, let's speed things up here a little bit. Uh, I notice that when you're speeding up the game, like, the TV kind of, like, enters, like, a seizure mode. Okay, it's really creepy. Okay, I guess both of them can socialize a little bit. We do have some time. Funny and, uh, inside joke. Funny and tell funny story. Okay, we're losing time. Okay, time for him to get up so that we don't miss a single minute of him working. <laughs> Okay, get out of here. Get out of here, Callum. Have fun at work. And Duncan needs to be focused. Um, What other activities can we do to make him focus? Do we have like a chess set? Okay, we don't. Um, Just have him read something, I guess. Is that going to give him fun? All right, speed things up a little bit. Okay, cool beans. And... Um, Girl, just just wash the dishes. Like, why do you not automatically wash the dishes? Clean that up. Do we have any bills or anything? I feel like it's been a really long time since we got bills, but that's great because bills in The Sims 4 tend to get pretty expensive. So I'm happy that for now we have no bills to deal with. Okay, you don't want to wash the dishes. Use the toilet, then wash the dishes. And you're also going to clean that. And no, I'm not making Jesse the maid. It just so happens that she's the only one left here at home. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here, Duncan. Get out of here. No, and he's not focused anymore. This is so sad. Okay, what else? All right, Jesse. Um, yeah, she's just gonna wash the dishes, I guess. And I think for the rest of this part, we are going to. You know what? For the next part, we're gonna spend some time with Jesse out. In town we can go on a little bit of an adventure with her but I think I'm gonna go ahead and then call it a part because I feel like this part has been long enough and I feel like we've seen quite enough in this part as well I really need your guys' help coming up with a good club name so please any idea is much appreciated comment it down below and I will see if it fits well with my vision for this club and yeah, like I said, that is going to be it for this part. Once again, please don't forget to hit that like, favorite, and subscribe button if you guys had fun watching this video because it really does help out the channel a lot, okay? You all have an awesome... Ooh, what is this? Office praying Calum, Calum, Calum reaches into his desk drawer to get his stapler only to discover that someone has encased it in jelly. Will Calum retaliate with his own prank or ignore it and go find another stapler? Just ignore it. Uh, Cullen doesn't have time for this nonsense. Important stapling task to wait. The stapler need near the mailroom will have to do the job. All right. Uh, so that was a nice little um, interrupter interrupting my outro. But anyway, like I said, that is going to be it for this part. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.